People in Roanoke, Lynchburg, Danville, and other parts of our region head to the polls. City council seats are up for grabs, and in places like Roanoke City, a new mayor will be elected. And these positions will have big impacts on the local communities, but we don't see the big turnouts like we do for presidential elections. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire joining us live this morning from Roanoke with why these kinds of elections are so important. Aaron, good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, I'm at the Crystal Springs Baptist Church. This is in the Crystal Springs Voting District. And these kind of elections are really important, but oftentimes you're right. We don't see the kind of big turnout that we typically see for presidential elections. Joining me now to talk a little bit more about that is WSLS 10 political analyst, Dr. Ed Lynch. Talk about why we typically don't see that huge turnout for elections like this. Well, for, for a big turnout, you need usually one of two things. You need a single important overarching issue, whether it's something specific like Victory Stadium or or crime or drugs or something like that or you need a more general but very, again very strong desire for change and it doesn't look like we really have either one of those dynamics going this time and to so talk a little bit about what you are expecting for turnout as far as this election goes are you expecting a average turnout for this I think it'll be an average uh, May election turnout, which uh, usually comes in somewhere around 15 percent, maybe 20 percent, something like that. Uh, so there, there are going to be a lot of people who are eligible to vote today who probably won't won't do so. And as we mentioned earlier, the ba the polls do open this morning at six o'clock. They'll be open until seven o'clock this evening. So we'll have coverage out here all morning long. We'll, coming up in the next half hour, more on the Roanoke mayoral race live in Roanoke. I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10. Have on issues that we see every day, like roads and schools. Good morning. Yeah, that's right. These votes do have a big impact on some of those issues that we do see every day. As you mentioned, not as many voters as we typically see for those big presidential elections, but with the polls now open, we have seen a handful of people already coming in here to vote at Crystal Springs Baptist Church. Now, in Roanoke this year, the mayoral race is a little different than in years past. I do want to go ahead and ask WSLS 10 political expert Dr. Ed Lynch to join me. Talk a little bit about the mayoral race this year. Well, I don't think there'll be a whole lot of suspense to it. Uh, Sherman Lee is running for the Democrats, uh, well known in the city, has served the city for a long time, and then there's the write in campaign. Uh, uh, and I think what that will really do is, assuming that, that Mr. Lee is elected, which is likely, uh, the number of write in votes will give him a pretty good idea of, you know, how, what, what part of the population is really kind of hardcore discontented. Because that's really what it takes to cast a write in vote. You have to be very highly motivated to do that. Yeah, and talk a little bit more about the write-in votes. I mean, it's hard for people to remember. You have to have everything exactly to a T, right? That's right, yeah. If you uh, spell the candidate's name wrong, if you put the last name first, if you uh, leave off the first name, something like this, that, that raises a challenge for each one of those votes. So it is a, it is a more difficult procedure, uh, but it will, again, uh, show up who the really highly motivated voters are. Perfect. Thank you so much. And as we mentioned, the polls now open. They will be open until 7 o'clock tonight. So we'll be out here throughout the morning bringing you the latest on the election coverage. Live in Roanoke, Aaron Brookshire, WSLS 10.